Let's get into the I do budget. We'll click on the budget tile. We're now prompted to import a budget. We have this drop down for templates. Right now we just have the one wedding template out there and it prompts us to add a budget total. So we'll say our budget total is 25,000 for this wedding. We'll click on import and immediately we have a budget created for us based off the 25,000. These averages are based on national averages for all the different categories. So they can obviously be changed if you want to tweak it. For instance, if you think fashion should be more, you can always click edit and add, you know, change the number to be bigger. But this is giving you a starting point from which to go from. Um, you can also see in this little field, there's this little graphing capability that is based off of the percentage of the total budget. So 45% is giving you a little visual so you can see where the money is budgeted to go. Some more things on the screen are for each category you can see how much has been paid in that category, how much is pending or due, and then that will sum up to be the total paid plus pending is the total. And then everything tallies down here as well. So that is the category. Now let's go to the expenses. So we'll click on the expenses tab down here at the bottom. And now we see all of the expenses and their particular categories that they're associated with. I'm going to focus on the flowers expense in this category. Flowers, we have a $2,500 budget. And let's say that's perfectly accurate. We're going to make it so we have a $1,000 down payment and a $1,500 final payment. When you do an import, all of these are pre-populated for you, and it's very important to make clear that for every time that you swipe a credit card or mail a check or give cash to someone, a unique expense should be done here, similar to your bank statement or your credit card statement, so that everything tallies up correctly and all the due dates and paid dates are helpful to you. So just make sure you don't have one entry reflect an ongoing payment to a particular vendor. You want to make sure that for every unique payment to the florist, you have a unique entry here in the budget expenses screen. So let's modify this entry and call this flowers down payment. We'll say it's a thousand dollars. That's our down payment. It was due today and we paid it. We don't have a vendor. We didn't get to that part yet in our screencast, but you will be able to add a vendor and associate the florist in this example to here. The note field, we'll put in check you know, one, two, three, and we'll save it. So we have that. Let's add another expense, and this will be the, I'll call it flowers, final payment. <clears throat> it's 1,500, I'm gonna click on due date. I'm gonna select the month, I'm gonna hit the up arrow to push it in the future. You can do the same thing for year. You can use the up and down arrows, where you can click on this little thing to get a full calendar selection. So this is due in the future. It's not yet paid. And I'm going to hit save. So now we have a paid entry here in expenses and a planned future expense for us to do. So let's go back to categories to see how that gets reflected. Here you see $1,000 has been paid and 1500 is pending. You can do a quick word report see how that looks you can go to expenses and you can do a quick report there as well so what you see is what you get in these reports if you did a quick filter let's say on uh, flowers and you did a word report you'd get just that so really quick and instantaneous uh, reporting capability you see all that information I'll do one category report do the Excel and I will select the top left and double click one of these little column headers and everything gets resized accordingly. So that is an overview of the budget categories and expenses. You can always re-import a brand new uh, budget template by just clicking on import. You would need to delete your previous categories and expenses so just be mindful of that but it will allow you to quickly and easily change your budget and it's very flexible with great reporting capabilities.